بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب a very beneficial treatise entitled Tabseer al-Khalaf bi Thabit al-Usool alati min Khalafaha kharaja an min Hajj al-Salaf This is a book, a small treatise which details or summarizes the criterion related to the usul or the, the foundation for determining when someone leaves the minhaj of the salaf of this ummah. Radiallahu ta'ala anumajma'in. And this booklet is very, very beneficial and I hope that someone has translated it into English and if not, hopefully one day Maybe I'll have the time to sit and, and do so. And it is by uh, Ahmed Muhammad As-Sadiq Al-Najjar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and reward him. Ameen. And the introduction to this book was by our Sheikh, Sheikh Saleh Suhaimi, and our Sheikh Suleiman Ibn Salim Allah Ar-Rahaili. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them both and bless them both with long and beneficial lives. And may Allah bless us to continue to benefit from their ilm. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And I just wanted to go through the end, the last two pages of the book, which is the the khatim, or the khatima, the conclusion of this short piece of research by Ahmed Muhammad Sadiq and Najjar Hafidallah Ta'ala. So we will read it and translate it and we will try to attempt to light to, to make this a study so that way we can benefit from it. He began or he concluded his book by saying إِنِّي أَحْمِدُ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ أَنْ وَفَقَنِي لِإِتْمَامْ هَذَا الْبَحْثِ مِنْ غَيْرِ حَوْلٍ مِنِّي وَلَا قُوَّةِ وَأَسْأَلُهُ تَعَالَى أَنْ يَنْفَعْنِي بِهِ وَالْمُسْلِمِينَ وَقَدْ بَذَلَتْ جُهْدِي فِي إِخْرَاجِهِ مُخْتَسَرٍ عَلَى وِفْقْ قُوَاعِدْ أَحْلَ الْعِلْمِ So he said, Verily, I praise Allah the glorified that he blessed me to complete this piece of research without my own ability to do so and all strength and might comes from him subhanah and I ask the Almighty to benefit me with it and the Muslims. And I strove and made a, a very strong effort to make this research concise. Through the, or adhering to the principles of the people of knowledge. And then he said, Hafidullah Ta'ala, Wa adhkur huna aham kawaid mustakhlasa min hadha al bath, wa hiya kama yati. So he said, and I am going to mention the most important principles very concisely from this piece of re research and they are as follows he said al qaida ula mastar talaqi 
عند الأئمة السلف الكتاب والسنة والإجماع. He said the first principle is that the origin of knowledge or the origin of the religion according to the imams of the salaf was the Quran and the sunnah and the ijma meaning the consensus the consensus of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala in So that is the first principle that he mentioned, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, letting us know that the asas or the origin and the foundation of our religion, where we take our knowledge from, and that what is considered dalil, evidence, this is the asal of evidence here. We don't say Sheikh so and so said, or student of knowledge so and so said, and that is a hujja in and of itself. But that has to be in accordance, in agreeance with these three foundations or one of the three. The Kitab, meaning the Quran, and the Sunnah, or the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Ijma, meaning the consensus, what was agreed upon. For example, Ayyul Ahbab, if we talk about creed, if we talk about creed or minhaj, creed meaning our aqidah, our belief from the six pillars of Iman and all the other aspects of creed that are derived from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the Menhaj, as we mentioned, meaning, and I prefer the definition when we talk about menhaj, when we're talking about menhaj in da'wah, or menhaj, that Sheikh Ahmed al-Najmi, uh, rahimahullah ta'ala, mentioned about menhaj, he mentioned that it is the methodology, menhaj, when we speak of menhaj, we're referring to the methodology in da'wah, the methodology of how to practice that aqidah and, and the religion, how we call to it, and that the menhaj and aqidah are very related in that aqidah perhaps is more general as some of the ulama mention, then minhaj. The second qaida the Sheikh Men uh, Sheikh <coughs> Ahmed Muhammad al Sadiq al Najjar, have the Allah Taala mention, al qaida thaniya, kullu mukhalifli li salaf. في مستر تلقي فهو من أهل الأهواء والبدع. He said the second principle is that everyone who differs with the salaf regarding this uh, the مستر or the, the where we take our evidence from you know the دليل where's the حجة where's it coming from where is the deen coming from? So anyone who differs with this, then they are from the people of desires and innovation. So this is a qaida. This is a principle. This is a general principle. When we talk about qawaid, and uh, uh, when we talk about principles in the religion, the ulama of usul they mention that kawaid, especially like kawaid fiqhia and, and you know, fiqh principles, that they are general principles that cover 
many aspects of the religion. And some of them say they are general principles that cover all aspects of the religion. So there's some difference with that, but the, the main point that for our reference is that we know is that the Qaeda, when we say something is a principle, Qaeda al-Arba, the four principles, or we say something usul, like usul al-Thalatha, that it, it's a foundation. When we talk about the Qaeda, we're talking about something that's a general principle. And perhaps there may be some exceptions to this principle, but this is the general case. So when he said, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, that this is the second principle, that everyone who differs with the Salaf uh, regarding this master of Talaqi, of where they take their knowledge, where they take their evidence from, then they are from the people of desires and bid'ah. This Qaeda is no doubt is an absolute Qaeda. We don't say that this that there are some people that are allowed to take their foundation of their religion, of how they understand the deen, from other than the Qur'an, or other than the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or other than the uh, ijma of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, ijma'in, meaning what they were united upon, and they were united upon creed. In issues of creed, they were, the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, ijma'in, they were united upon so it is not permissible for someone after them to later come and say we have a other source that we take our religion from. Sheikh so-and-so makes very nice fatawa that have no relation to the Quran, no relation to the Sunnah, and we like it and we'll follow it. No, that's not the case. Or modern technology leads us to believe, so we're going to make this a qaid or a qaid of the deen. No. But instead, we take our religion, that this is the masdar, as it comes from the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the ijma of the salaf of this ummah. And then as another level of dalil or evidence uh, that most of the ulama accept is qiyas, a qiyas uh, meaning uh, jurisprudent uh, analogy. And I think we'll stop there in order to keep this a brief study and we'll then we'll in the next sitting we'll continue on and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad